Supreme Court has fast-tracked the hearing on the pleas challenging the abrogation of Article 370. It has decided that it will hold day-to-day -day hearings from August 2. The Chief Justice of India has said he will not permit any further documents to be submitted after July 27. A constitution bench of Supreme Court of India took up a batch of pleas challenging abrogation of Article 370, which gave special status to JNK and the state's bifurcation into two union territories. Yesterday, the centre filed a fresh affidavit defending its 2019 move. The government had said its decision has brought unprecedented stability and progress in the region. We have Nilashish joining us. Nilashish, Supreme Court are willing to hear the pleas from August 2. It has also asked all the concerned parties to give their submissions by July 27. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Supreme Court, the Constitution bench making its intention very clear that it wants to have a smooth, effective and speedy trial, uh, hearing uh, on this matter from the 2nd of August. In uh, relation to that and in connection with that, uh, the CJI-led bench uh, clearly stated that all uh, compliance, uh, convenience compliances, written documents, filing of submissions, all of that must be completed with, uh, within uh, by the 27th of July. and. The court said that they will not be entertaining any further documents or pleadings post the 27th of July so that from the 2nd of August uh, they can have a hearing on a day-to-day -day basis as far as the constitution bench is concerned. Now, two other aspects came out very significantly in uh, today's hearing. One is that uh, the lead petitioner, Shah Faisal, and uh, uh, former JNU student, uh, Shera Rashid, they withdrew their uh, uh, petitions. So from 23, it has become 21 petitions now. And accordingly, the matter will be known as in re Article 370 because the lead petitioner has withdrawn his, uh, his contentions as far as uh, this uh, uh, issue is concerned. And uh, secondly, another important development came when uh, the center has filed an affidavit uh, yesterday saying that post uh, the presidential order of uh, August 3, 2019, uh, the situation has improved, law and order has improved in uh, uh, the valley. However, uh, the CJ-led bench uh, stated that they are looking at the constitutional aspect of whether or not the abrogation, the order in itself, was uh, valid or not. Therefore, it is a constitutional issue. And that aspect of uh, the affidavit that was filed by the centre will not be considered. So these were the key takeaways as far as today's uh, hearing is concerned. They have uh, chalked out the modalities as far as the hearing goes. And from the 2nd of August, there will be a day-to-day -day hearing. Now that uh, it has been over three years that the matter last came up before the Supreme Court.